Are you somebody who hides self-view on Zoom and you want to make sure that you're capturing everything you need to in your recordings? Well, this is a part two to a video that I will link here and down below for you about why you should hide your self-view because it is helpful with fighting Zoom fatigue. But I do want to highlight one mistake that you can make if this is something that you do often because I made it in the last couple months. So stick around to find out. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson, where we dive even more into some of these topics I talk about here on Zoom. We also tackle things like how to be a stage manager at events, what are nonprofit fundraising event strategies that you need, what does an event planner even do? And those are a little bit more longer form, but also free content wherever you listen to podcasts. So last week I shared a tip with you about how you can fight Zoom fatigue, and that's with hiding your self view. This is an amazing feature. I constantly use it. And so this led me to make a mistake because recently when I was in Zoom, I wanted to record the meeting that I was in. It was a training for some other folks and I had some people who couldn't join us live and so I wanted to record it. I'm gonna caveat here, the way I recorded was locally. So in Zoom, again, I have a video about it, I'll link it about difference between cloud and local recording. But for a local recording, you are recording right down to your laptop, which is great because it's local, you've got it. But here's a mistake, if you have hidden self view, and then you hit record locally, guess what? It doesn't capture your camera. Because what I'm finding time and time again is Zoom when you record locally is really kind of capturing your view on your screen. Now it's not exactly that, it still follows usually speaker view, but my hack with local recording is often that you can get those multiple spotlights, which I will link that video as well. If you're trying to record multiple spotlights, which means multiple people, in speaker view, like a panel, you need to locally record to capture that. The cloud does not get that. So here I found the inverse of that problem is I'm, I'd am i have to test it again to see if the cloud would get it. But for local recording, you do not, if you will not see your video if you are hiding self view. So what I got with this recording and what surprised me was then I downloaded it, got ready to share it with everyone. And you can hear me. You can see my screen when I share screen, but you do not see my video. And that's hilarious because I had my video on. I'm a Zoom person, so you'd think I'd know these things. But similar to why I have any of these videos, it's because it's a lot of trial and error, things I learned by doing. And so that's my pro tip for you. If you are going to record locally, you cannot hide self-view. One other caveat in here too, if you're ever taking a group photo, I always advocate for this at your virtual events, whether it's a meeting, I do an event pros book club, and I also always have to remind myself to turn on my self-view. To me, that makes a little more sense with a group photo because you're taking a screenshot of your screen. And so if you've hidden self-view, you're not going to appear. But that's another instance where you want to make sure that you don't do what I'm saying and actually show your self-view so that you can also join in the amazing group photo of your virtual meetup. And now before I let you go, I do want to show you this is where you can see the self-view. Again, it's in my other video, but just so you see it here, you go up to view and you're gonna see hide self view. And so if you hide it right now, you're gonna see I can't do it until somebody else is in this meeting. But if you have it hidden, you will not appear in your local recording. So and then anytime you can just go show self view. And now Zoom does a thing where it kind of remembers your settings from when you were here last. So for me, I always hide my self view. So it's almost always enabled. And so for me now, I just have to make a mental note. Anytime I wanna capture a local recording and I want to be in the recording, which as a producer, it's kind of fun to not be in the recording, but If you want to be in it, then you need to make sure that you have uh, turned off self-view. So you want to show your self-view, not hide it. That's my pro tip for you, so you don't have to make the mistakes that I did. But I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all all over the world. I do want to encourage you to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. (music) Bye.